again. <coughs> Good afternoon. Thanks for keeping this, this going. I'm Ian Freeman. Um, I host a radio show called Free Talk Live. I'm one of the bloggers at freekeen.com. I have a lot of experience creating media. And I have had a lot of experience on the streets and in government offices attempting to record uh, government workers and also on the phone uh, as well. And I have to ask of these various different government bureaucrats who've come and testified against this bill today is what are they afraid of? Because what I've heard from them, and I just want to answer some of these objections, uh, the Municipal Association guy came in here and he said that, well, two reps, two, two of you reps could be recorded. Well, that's only true if one of you is doing the recording. The way this bill reads, it makes New Hampshire in line with the supermajority of the states. I believe you said 38 other states. This would allow one party to the, to the conversation to record it. It does not allow someone who is not a party to record it. So the classic, the reason why the wiretapping laws were created in the first place was the old idea of somebody sitting outside of your house with a pair of headphones literally tapping into a conversation that, that you were having. That's the classic definition of wiretapping. Someone who is not a party to the conversation recording that conversation. This bill would not make that legal. That would still be a crime. And so some of the testimony from the government workers in here earlier tried to make it sound like this bill, if it passed, would all of a sudden make it legal to record a, a conversation that someone is not a party to. That is not the case at all uh, with this piece of legislation. So again, what is it that they have to hide? What's the objection to secret recording? The Attorney General's uh, lady was in here saying that it makes her uncomfortable to know that a conversation might be recorded uh, secretly. Well again, if she wants notice that someone is recording, that suggests that she would change how she behaves if she was given notice. So if what she's going to do is on the up and up and is honest, then she shouldn't need to be given notice. No one should, be need to, uh, should need to be given notice of recording going on, which is what you have to do today. If I want to record a conversation with a government uh, official, I have to give them notice. But even then, under a strict reading of the current wiretapping legislation, they could still charge me with, with wiretapping. And they sure have charged people. I'll just tell you a few uh, brief cases. Oh, that's not necessary because we're short of time. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it brief. I just want you to just one here. How about one uh, two two important cases? One, Ademo Freeman. He was recording a call, uh, two calls with school board uh, officials in Manchester, and he was charged with felony wiretapping for this. And he went to prison or went to jail. Went to jail for a few months uh, for this. And uh, all he did was ask her some questions that should have been, you know, clearly on the record. But the the, uh, the prosecutor in Manchester went after him for that. And uh, Chris David, he's right now facing wiretap uh, wiretapping charges out on the seacoast. In his case, he didn't record a conversation with an official. He recorded a conversation with a bouncer outside the club. So outside, public place, having a conversation that anyone could have heard. But when he posted that video on YouTube, the, the bouncer, by the way, was threatening him, was what was going on in that video. So the bouncer was threatening him because he was driving for Uber at the time, and there's this whole Uber controversy out there. And uh, so he's been charged. That case has yet to go to, uh, to jury trial, but that is, uh, that is in, the, in the works right now. So we, we're talking about locking up a man who just had a baby and has a family, and now he's looking at prison time for that. Um, so there's, there's more of this. I've seen multiple people arrested in the courts, in Cheshire County Courthouse. They've been arrested for recording video openly, not even secretly. There's a, a standing order in Cheshire County Courthouse from both the Superior and District, because they're both in the same courthouse. Both the Superior and District judges have written a joint order that completely prohibits the recording in public spaces. Now the excuse they use for this is, is that, uh, oh, well, you might record the jurors or some minors. Well, this is BS, because if I want to record the jurors or the minors in the courthouse, all I have to do is stand outside, and I can record every single one of them as they go in and they go out. What this really is, is in order to protect the workers in the court from accountability. And this law would make it so government officials could be held accountable through secret recordings, as well as bad business owners, which was what Daryl was referring to earlier. You cannot do undercover recordings of you know, scummy business owners. It's illegal for me to go in, with a hidden camera into a dishonest business and capture that person on video. So if this is a great piece of legislation. Please pass this. Thank you. I see no other questions. 
And the chairman is back. So I guess I can uh, go on over and continue to pass the time because the chairman wasn't here and I was a sponsor of the next bill. <laughs> oh, so we're going to kill the next bill. <laughs> Great sense of humor. Choices of people. I try. <coughs>